everybody. Yay! It is Pastor Tate and Sister Tate, and we are coming you, to you with our updates for this month. We are blessed. We're better than blessed. We thank God for the manifold blessings yes. that he has bestowed on our lives. Thank God for all of the work that has been going on in the yes. ministry. It has been a busy last three months, but Ooh. God has been good. We have dealing, we've been dealing with pandemic, coronavirus, COVID-19, and all of the other health disparities that are going on in our community. In addition to that, the Lord has blessed us to be able to accomplish some things inside of the ministry. And so we are appreciative to all of those that have really been putting forth an effort to try to make the ministry work in spite of all that's going on. And so Cherie's going to share some thank yous with you, and then we're going to talk about the balance of our schedule for the rest of the summer. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have a great Vacation Bible School, our first virtual Woo! Vacation Bible School. It was a challenge, but we did it. We did it. And we thank you all for supporting it. Uh, I want to thank a special thank you to Dr. Roz, mm. Sister Bell, mm. Sister Kelly, Thompson, and for Marquita, who worked so hard to make sure that we had that presentation um, for those three or four days. And so we just want to say thank you. Support is so important. We know it's a difficult season, but we also know that as long as we are putting in the work, right. God is going to continue to bless. Right. right now, as we're in this season, we're going to continue to do our virtual Zooms for our youth. Every uh, Sunday. Every Sunday. That's Tomorrow, right. because we're having an outdoor service, we won't have the Zoom uh, class for the youth. We invite you to bring the youth, put their mask on, and bring them on so they can enjoy worship, enjoy the outdoors the atmosphere, and just uh, be amongst the fellowship. Get your youth involved. We have our teachers who are ready every Sunday, whether you show up or not. Mm. They are ready to minister to your children, and it's so important in this season. They've been at home for a long time, yes. and so the Word is important. They need that. They're being inundated with everything else. And so take those few minutes on Sunday mornings to help them to be on Zoom to hear the word. Amen. And we send those text messages out as reminders every week, but no excuse. We also have an option on the website for the youth classes that if you want the Zoom information, all you gotta do is go on there, click on the, uh, count the schedule for the youth classes and put your information in and it comes directly to us and we can send you that information for the Zoom. Um, connection for and the Zoom What is that link. website? It is nbcotlg.org. nbcotlg.org. O-R-G, that's org. Org. Yes. And so we don't want you to miss it. And so please, please, please to go to the website and get the information so that your youth can participate every Sunday starting at 1130. Uh, those pictures and gifts that were available as a result of those participants at Vacation Bible School are still available, the book bags and the little goodie bags. So if you come tomorrow, we want to distribute those to those that did not get a chance to get them on Friday. So we'll be holding them for you. Now, if you wait too late, we're going to give them to somebody else. But yeah. for those that did participate, please come out and pick them up. We appreciate all that was going on. We also took pictures on yesterday for all those participants that came on yesterday. And so we still have the design set up. And so we would love to take pictures of those kids that participated in the BBS so they can get their picture um, and they can keep that as a keepsake. So bring them on tomorrow. There it is. And so tomorrow, while we're talking about tomorrow, tomorrow's outdoor service is going to be exciting for us, exciting for you, because it gives us a chance to not only set the atmosphere and put worship in the atmosphere, but it gives us a chance to also represent the body of Christ in the community, as well as bring people together. So it is going to be a distant fellowship for the way it's set up. You can drive up Rockdale Avenue, which is the circle, and park in the circle. And so once you park in the circle, you'll be facing the statue. You can stay in your cars or stay around your cars. That's how we're going to maintain our safe distancing. For those that want to get out of your cars, we'll have chairs set up and they'll be six feet apart. So we still can worship and fellowship, but the goal is to make sure that everybody's masked and have on gloves 
so that we can do a, a distant high five, a long distance elbow, and a blow everybody a kiss from your car window, right? But we just want to see people, see how they're doing. Just be put our eyes on people. That's something that we really are excited about tomorrow. And so please, the weather's supposed to be beautiful. It's at 10 a.m. We're supposed to be done by 11 a.m. So you still have a whole full day to do all the stuff that you want to do. But let's come together tomorrow. Invite a friend, invite a family member. Hey, and bring the van. You know, you've been using the car all month. Bring the van and put everybody in the van and roll down the windows. Let's, let, let's participate in our praise and worship. Hear a word from the Lord. See each other, fellowship, and then go home and continue to enjoy the rest of the day. So we'll be meeting, uh, meeting with our congregation on Zoom to talk about our vision. we got to plan next steps for our ministry. Uh, we are coming to the end of the summer. And school is about to start. There are some things that we really need to talk about. So we are vision casting for the rest of the year and then talking about some of the things that we're going to be doing in the community. Uh, we're going to be doing a project with other churches in the community on the 12th of September. And so we'll be meeting next week to talk about the details of that. That's just one location. We'll be doing seven locations in our community, helping people, helping seniors with their yards, uh, helping out with uh, picking up paper on the main streets, just making sure that our community is beautiful. That's part of our giving back. In addition to that, on the 20th uh, of this month of August, we will be doing a joint effort with Peace Baptist Church over at their facility, which is on Rockdale. And again, a blessing to the community. We're also going to be helping to make sure that people are registered to vote. And then those that have not participated in the census, we have two months to go. And we need to make sure everybody is participating everybody. in the census. That is critical to the funding for our city. And we need to make sure that we've done our, our part. That's right. Now, Avondale right now is at 32% participation. Ten years ago, we were just at 45%. Millions of dollars were left off the table for Avondale because of the low response. We have to bring that number up so the churches are working together to get more people to, to participate. And we need your help. More information will be coming forth about that. So please make sure that your family is aware how, of how important the census is, not only to our city and to our community, but to our race as a people. So that is critical. And so be looking out for more information about that. But at so the prayer team, we pray every Monday and every Thursday. And we want to make sure that you know that you have the opportunity to submit prayer requests online any day of the week, because we want to be praying for you. Now we're praying for you anyway, but if you have special requests, there is a link on our website that you can submit those prayer requests and they come directly to us. And so we want to encourage you to do that. In closing, so we mentioned it, but every Tuesday at 4.30, we have Bible study via Zoom. Every Wednesday at 12 noon, we have Bible study, 1.30 Facebook Live, and then 6 p.m. on Wednesday, we have Bible study all via Zoom. So please, there's no excuse. Every morning, seven days a week at 6 a.m., we have prayer and meditation. And because there were so few people dialing in to our call, we've now made it available live, Facebook Live, as well as Instagram Live. So you have no excuse. We are broadcasting as much as we can so that you can stay connected. So please, please participate. The Bible studies are to help you grow. The prayer and meditation are to help you stay connected. And we all need prayer. So again, the ministry is working and we want you to take advantage of everything that's going on. We are working because God has sent us here to move the kingdom, to advance the kingdom, and you are a part of that work. So please, ma'am, please, sir, stay connected. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow and looking forward to seeing you as we go forward up the King's Highway.